So hello friends, it's Trevor here. Um, in today's tutorial, we're going to look at the Kano OS and getting the Kano OS up and running on the Raspberry Pi. Um, Kano OS um, is part of the Kano kit. Um, it's a kit, a Raspberry Pi based kit, a Raspberry Pi based kit that's uh, designed for kids. Um, so let's get started and try to get our Raspberry Pi loaded with the Kano OS um, and then we'll do a few subsequent tutorials to cover off um, the um, applications on the Kano OS, the coding apps on the Kano OS and what we might be able to get out of it. Um, so here I've got with me uh, a Pi th uh, 3B Plus um, with the Sense Hat on it, you'll see the Sense Hat on it. Um, I've got a USB card that's plugged into it. The USB card or the USB SD card um, has been um, just formatted and I've loaded the Kano um, OS image on it. Um, I'm using a small Bluetooth receiver. The Bluetooth receiver connects to a wireless keyboard and that's how I'm going to connect um, to the Kano OS um, and use it. Uh, no wired keyboard, wireless keyboard. Um, this video is going to be a little flaky, a little shaky, um, hopefully not too bad. Um, yeah, until I get the camera equipment sorted out, um, that's, this will have to do. So let's get started and boot up the, uh, Kino OS. There we go, that should come on now. There you go, you see the screen starting to boot now. It should come back again. There you go. That's um, Kano booting up. Some ASCII art on the screen. It's asking me to type some stuff. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and type uh, CD rabbit hole. A whole lot of ASCII art on the screen. Um, one of the best installations I've ever seen. Um, it's asking me to enter my name um i believe this is the login name that will be used um to set up the computer so every linux machine um needs um a user account and a password um and it's asking me for a username um, i could give it my name but i'm just going to provide it a username um and eventually at some point it'll ask me for a password as well so I've entered the username and I've just hit enter. So it's asking me to hit enter to continue. It says uh, type say hello and press enter. It's trying to play some music. I don't have any speakers connected at this point. I'm just going to say yes. Let it continue. Um, it's now asking me to type circle 100. There you go. I type circle 100 and it's going to paint a circle with some ASCII art on the screen. Excellent. Isn't that pretty? Ready to swipe and slide, of course, yes, we are. Um, it's probably trying to cal calibrate the screen. It's asking me to type activate trackpad. There you go. Okay, so let's calibrate it. It's most probably trying to calibrate the screen with the action, so I've clicked on that. 
let's calibrate it. There you go. And that, that one's done as well. So it's asking me to drag and drop some blocks. Let's make my wallpaper. What happens when you snap these blocks together? So what I'm going to do is drag this and just basically connect it over here. And that should get, there you go. Let's try adding another block. Whoopsie, there you go. I'm going to connect both of these blocks together. And um, we've started to do some programming already. <laughs> okay. I come the, the fun part is asking me to uh, configure my um, configure the uh, machine or the uh, uh, Kino OS to connect to my ra wireless router. I'm going to connect to the wireless router. Obviously, I don't want the passwords captured. All this works. Okay, awesome. So we connected to the Wi Fi network, which is great. Excellent, there you go. That's the Kino mascot, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. I will say I have a profile because, well, let's just create a new profile. First name. giving it a, it's asking me for my name, um, a username and a password. Asking me for an email address. And that's fantastic. It's loading my applications and screen now for the first time. asking me to update the operating system um, let's have a quick look around um, we've got a whole suite of applications here um, a very nicely and neatly laid out dashboard I can scroll through all the apps on the screen you can see some familiar ones as well um, there's Google Mail um, called Academy um, where you can um, learn a whole lot of uh, go through a whole lot of tutorials and uh, learn a whole lot of new concepts with regards to coding um, there's your adobe reader um, 
your Sonic Pi to um, create music. Um, calculator, obviously. Um, there's YouTube if you to listen to YouTube videos. Um, here's um, here's the motion kit to work with the Kino sensors, the pixel kit to work with the Kino sensors again. Here's your internet browser and a whole lot of stuff. So we'll do an, another few tutorials to go over the uh, um, applications, the dashboard and whatnot. This video is only intending to cover the the build process um, and the entire setup process for the Kano operating system. Um, they've got a classic mode as well. We can switch to the classic mode, see what it looks like. So that's the classic mode loading up. And there you go. I think I prefer the classic mode. Uh, I don't know what, you, what about you, but I prefer the classic mode. It looks to be a slightly more cleaner interface. Um, and you've got the small little taskbar with a min with a start bar there on all your applications nicely loading over here. There you go. And that's pretty. That's absolutely pretty. Um, let's see what kind of games they have got tux paint, tux typing and whatnot. So this is absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see if we can connect to the internet. So here's our um, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. That's the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the Sense hat on it. Um, loaded with the Kino OS um, and now connecting to the internet. there you go connected to the internet that's awesome okie dokie um, so that's the end of this uh, tutorial um, before I go what I might just do is just update the operating system there's just the there was a there is the install updates there you go so I'm gonna just so I've gone to the bottom and I've clicked install updates and it's going to try to connect to the internet and update a whole lot of packages so we've just installed the operating system obviously packages have changed since then um, and um, uh, now i'm attempting to upgrade the operating system um, it will download a whole lot of packages um, and it will um, upgrade them um, and basically it'll give you an updated set of packages um, and hopefully an updated computer at the end of the day um, that's it. Um, thank you for your time. So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, what we attempted to cover off in this video is the setup and build of a new Raspberry Pi um, computer with the Kino operating system for kids to use. Um, seems like a beautiful operating system, very, very useful. Lots of interesting applications to code, to play games, interact with different sensors and whatnot. Um, and we'll be covering off different tutorials in the future, um, looking at different aspects of the Kano operating system. Thank you for your time, um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe and leave us your feedback. Thanks. Cheers.